so here is a typical setup where you have internet and various internet subscribers now assume one of the subscriber is requesting a web page or basically a browser is requesting a web page the packets of this web page or a web content will flow across various routing nodes within the internet and eventually they reach the client who had requested and in this case it's a simple web browser this happens over and over again when we read pages across internet now assume there is a local web caching server is configured as shown in the picture in this scenario if the requested page is not available in the caching server the page is downloaded and it is stored in the caching server and served to the requested client and all the subsequent page request arising from various work stations within the local area network if the page is found in the caching server it will be fed directly from the caching server to the required destination client this happens over and over again and eventually the web caching server will hold all these frequently read pages and its page contents and so on and sometimes it can prove highly effective in case if the user is getting low speed internet access and in case if the pages are dynamic then some of its contents such as static images and so on might get cached but not the pages 